In rugby, a scrum is a way of restarting the game after a minor infraction. In the software project environment, Scrum is an incremental, iterative, agile framework for software project development and delivery. But Scrum is not just for software. It can be used for any complex type of project. The software development lifecycle includes analysis and planning, design, development, test, and deployment. In the waterfall process, each step is done to completion before the next step is started. However, this means all the requirements must be determined at the beginning of the project, when the least is known. And the customer does not see the product until the end of the project, running the risk that what was built was not what the customer wanted. Scrum is based on an iterative approach to the software development lifecycle. In Scrum, the project is broken up into development units called sprints. The sprint is a time-boxed iteration of the complete software development lifecycle. The sprint includes planning and analysis, design, development, test, and delivery of the product increment to the customer. The product increment is potentially shippable software that contains the highest priority functionality of all the requirements in the project. As each sprint builds on the current product increment, the product increment grows in functionality with each completed sprint. At the end of each sprint, the customer sees a demonstration of the current product increment and gives feedback, allowing the team to quickly respond to changing requirements and ensuring the final product matches the customer's expectations. Allowing the team to quickly respond to changing requirements and ensuring the final product matches the customer's expectations. At the end of each sprint, a team retrospective is held on what went right and wrong with the last sprint to ensure continual process improvement. Scrum contains three core roles, the product owner, the team, and the scrum master. The product owner owns the vision of the product and interacts with the stakeholders to create the requirements held in the product backlog. The product backlog holds the features, bug fixes, and non-functional requirements needed to successfully deliver the completed product. Items in the product backlog are ordered by priority, with the highest priority items at the top. The team is a cross-functional self-organizing group that is responsible for delivering potentially shippable product increments at the end of each sprint. The team helps break down the items in the product backlog into manageable user stories that can be accomplished in a single sprint. During planning, the highest priority items are moved from the product backlog into the sprint backlog to indicate what will be delivered in the next product increment. The team then commits to the items in the sprint backlog and begins development. Development during a sprint is tracked with a burndown chart. The burndown chart is updated daily to show the remaining work in the sprint backlog giving a quick visual of the team's progress. The Scrum Master is responsible for ensuring the Scrum rules are followed. The Scrum Master facilitates the key Scrum meetings and also protects the team in the sprint, removing impediments and ensuring the team can focus on the work in the sprint backlog.